So for this video, we're going to be using the iX20. And the reason we're using the iX20 is because we're able to project the screen on screen. So it's much easier for you guys to see what I'm doing. So keep in mind that the systems, you know, the DX, all the iX series, all the radios work the same. And in fact, the screens will present it in very much the same way. So just because we're using the iX20, um, you know, for purposes of demonstration, your radio is going to work in exactly the same manner. So follow the same steps. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to bind the receiver to the transmitter. So put the receiver, the 637T, in bind mode. And there's two ways to do this. You can press and hold the bind button while powering it up. But actually, we generally find it easier to go ahead and apply power, as I'm going to do here. And after power is applied, then I'll push and hold the button for approximately three seconds. You'll notice that the bind LED starts flashing, indicating you're in bind mode. Then go ahead and bind the transmitter. In the case of the iX20, I press the bind command and then long press the bind and you'll see it goes through the process. DSMX, 11 milliseconds. And you're bound and ready to go. So after you've bound, the next thing you, that you need to do is set the model up. Now the good news again, like, um, like the installation and so on, you do this exactly in the same way that you've previously done this with Spectrum radios. You're gonna go through the transmitter, you're gonna uh, select the servo um, setup screen, and you're gonna reverse the channels that are appropriate so that everything's working in the correct direction. Um, you're gonna adjust subtrims, you're gonna adjust travel adjust, dual rates, and so on. So if you have a, a ready-built airplane, uh, commonly like for example, or an e-flight airplane, just look in the manual and there'll be a place in the manual that shows you what all those settings are and you simply put those settings in your transmitter. Of course, if you have a scratch build airplane or an airplane, you're not sure what those setups are, set it up just like you normally would. So again, be sure that all the control surfaces are going in the, same, in the right direction. Uh, be sure that the travel adjusts are going in the right direction, the flap travels. Obviously, wing type, you need to select the proper wing type. So go through the normal setup process that, that you do with every single airplane in the normal programming functions of your transmitter and get those set up. And uh, in fact, keep in mind um, that th out of the box, a 637T is a conventional six channel receiver. After you set everything up, you can actually fly the airplane before turning on any of the AS3X settings. So you could certainly do that, but it is absolutely necessary before we progress that you set the model up so that it's ready to fly.